हेलो कोडर्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल दिस इज पार्ट थ्री ऑफ अवर एंड टू एंड मशीन लर्निंग प्रोजेक्ट वॉटर पोर्टेबिलिटी प्रिडिक्शन यूजिंग मशीन लर्निंग सो प्रीवियसली वी वेर हैंडलिंग अवर एंटायर प्रोजेक्ट इंक्लूडिंग ईच स्टेप ऑफ द मशीन लर्निंग पाइपलाइन इन अ सिंगल फाइव लाइक दिस that you can see over here so as we discussed in industry different stages of the pipeline handled by different engineers therefore it is better if we create separate modules means separate python files to handle different stages of the pipeline this makes it easier to maintain instead of writing all the code in one single file like this so as you can see here we have created different python files meaning different modules to handle different stages of the pipeline that you can see over here we have divided our entire project into four stages data collection data pre processing model building and model evaluation as you know in machine learning these stages are connected to each other and execute in sequence one after another right although we have created different modules like this we need a way to connect them to achieve this we have used a dvc pipeline we maintain this pipeline in this particular file dvc.yml file right therefore if we want to execute the stages of our ml pipeline we only need to run this particular file this dvc.yml file so let's run our created machine learning pipeline that we have created in the last video using dvc repro command so as you can see this command ensures that all stages of the pipeline are executed based on the dependencies and outputs defined in this particular file dvc.yml file as you know we can also visualize our created pipeline using dvc dag command you can see the different stages of our machine learning pipeline data collection data pre processing model building and model evaluation and also you can see all the modules are connected with each other to form a machine learning pipeline so as you can see our created pipeline is very basic we want to make our pipeline industry grade so in this video we are going to perform the first improvement in our created machine learning pipeline in upcoming videos we will improve our pipeline further watch this video until the end i am sure you will learn something so let's get started you can see different modules of a machine learning pipeline that we have created contain various parameters that we can tune let's start with our first module this one data collection module so here in this particular line we fetch the data here we are performing train test split and here we are storing our data into two separate files train.csv and test.csv right so can you identify anything that is variable and can be tuned you can see here in the train test split we can tune the test size parameter and experiment with different values of test size right this means we can execute our pipeline multiple times with varying test size values such as 30% 40% etc for testing purposes so we can say that in this data collection module we can tune the test size parameter hope all of you are clear with this now let's move to our next module data pre processing so if you observe carefully in this particular module data pre processing no such tuning is required right so now let's move to our next module model building so here you can see we can tune our classifier the random forest classifier so the random forest classifier contains many parameters that you can see over here our random forest classifier contains this many parameters that you can see over here we can tune all the hyperparameters available inside our classifier that you can see over here but here we are going to tune only one parameter n estimators this first one n estimators representing the number of trees in the forest and you can see by default the value of n estimators is 100 what if we want to train the random forest classifier with different values of n estimators for example we could run our machine learning pipeline with n estimators set to 100 and then change it to say 500 1000 in another run to check performance each hyper parameters can be tuned but here we are going to tune only one parameter n estimators you can tune others as well now let's move to our next module 
model evaluation again if you observe carefully no such tuning is required here in this particular module so you can see the problem here in tuning parameters currently we have very few lines of code and the number of modules are limited so what if we are tackling a very complex machine learning problem so in that case we need to move through the code line by line and module by module to find tunable parameters right which is time consuming and increases complexity what if we could manage this parameter tuning from some central location that's exactly what we are going to do here so we can achieve this with parameters.yml file don't you worry shortly i will show you this practically first we need to create a file name params.yml let's right click over here and let's create new file with name params dot yaml so please remember this params dot yaml file acts as a configuration file where we can store important information we can fetch and use this information in our ml pipeline so this is the central location from where we can manage parameter tuning please remember this now let's click on this particular module data collection module so as we found in the data collection module we can tune this test size parameter of train test play right so for that we have to make one entry inside this particular file params.yml file so first we have to give module name collection module and we want to tune test size parameter and let's set default value 0.20 now let's click on this particular module model building so here in this particular module we have decided to tune this particular parameter and estimators right of our random forest classifier so let's make an entry for this parameter in the params.yml file so first we have to give module name for model building and we have decided to tune an estimators parameter of random forest classifier and let's set default value 100 let's save this file so you can see that if someone wants to tune these parameters they can do so directly from here this is like our dashboard so this means we can provide different values for test size and n estimators from this central location from here from this particular file params.yml file so these values are directly reflected in that specific modules therefore this is our central location params.yml file from where we can tune the parameters of any module but now the question is how to connect this params.yml file to other modules so we can tune the parameters from a central location so let's first connect this particular module data collection with params.yml file to do this we have to perform three steps first step we have already completed by making entry inside params.yml file for this particular parameter test size so our first step is completed now let's move to our second step let's click on this particular module data collection first we have to import yaml library and we have to write yaml dot save load and we have to open params dot yaml file that just we have created this one and here we are going to tune this particular parameter so from here first we have to access our module and from our module we can access our parameter test size let me copy and paste it over here let's assign it to one variable test size you can give any and let's replace this static value with this variable let's save our file so you can see here we have completed two steps first we have created this particular file params.yml file and listed the parameters that we want to tune from a central location for data collection this particular parameter we want to tune for model building we want to tune this particular parameter right so first we have created this particular file params.yml file and listed the parameters that we want to tune from a central location and in the second step we connected the params.yml file with the data collection module that you can see over here now let's move to our third step here we need to make an entry inside the dvc.yml file this file as this is the file we have to execute to run our pipeline right and currently we are inside data collection module so we have to make entry over here after dependency params and module name data 
collection dot paste size parameter that we want to tune let's save this file let's clear this so here i am directly making the entry inside the dvc.yml file like this but you can use our previous dvc stage add command and pass these parameters using the hyphen p flag right but currently i am doing entry directly inside dvc.yml file now let's execute our pipeline using dvc repro command so as you can see some spelling mistake here data underscore collection let's save our file let's clear this and let's execute our pipeline now it's working properly now let's click here and paste dot csv so you can see that currently these many rows are available inside paste dot csv because we kept aside 20 percent data for testing purpose that you can see over here so suppose we want to keep aside 30 percent of the data for testing purpose in place of going to this particular module we can directly change this from the central location from this file directly from params.yml file let's change it to 20 to 30 percent let's save this file let's clear this and let's execute our pipe line now let's check test.csv you can see over here number of rows increased because we have set test size to 30 percent that you can see over here so you can see we can easily tune parameters from the central location like dashboard from this file params.yml file that you can see over here how easy it is right now let's connect our second module to params.yml file model building module now let's click on this particular module model building again we have to import yml library again we have to write yml dot save load and we have to open our params dot yml file in read mode because this file is simple text file and here first we have to fetch this module name and then we have to fetch this parameter let's assign it to one variable and underscore st meters you can give any other name as well so in place of this static value let's assign this particular variable this one let's save our file so you can see that we have just completed two steps first we have created the params.yml file and listed the parameter and estimators that we want to tune from a central location in the second step we connected the params.yml file with the model building module that you can see over here now let's move to our third step in the third step we need to make an entry inside the dvc.yml file as this is the file we want to execute to run our pipeline and as you know currently we want to tune this particular parameter and estimators from a central location which is a part of model building module that you can see over here so we have to make entry inside model building part after dependency so let me write params and module name model underscore building dot and underscore st meters let's save this file now let's execute our pipeline please look at here the n estimators value is set to 100 please observe the accuracy first let's run our pipeline using dvc repro command as you can see our pipeline is running properly let's clear this output and let's check accuracy using dvc matrix show command you can see the accuracy now let's change the value of n estimators to 1000 let's save this file and now let's rerun our pipeline using dvc repro command you can see it is taking some time during model building compared to the previous run again you can see our pipeline is running properly let's clear this and let's check accuracy you can see some improvement in the accuracy right so you can see that we can tune the parameters using params.yml file we can perform experiments with this by using different values for the parameters can you see some improvement in our pipeline because now we can tune parameters for each module from a central location from this particular file params.yml file in the next video we will further improve our pipeline hope all of you are clear with this how to tune 
different parameters from a central location right in the next video we will further improve our pipeline hope you like this video please don't forget to subscribe this channel if you like this video smash that like button thank you very much for watching this video take care bye bye see you in the next video